Hello my good people. Welcome once again to my Sacks and Containers Garden. My name is Zorina Dominic. Recently I showed you how to prepare soil, soil for planting your vegetables. Now here today I want to show you how to prepare the sacks for planting your vegetables. Now the first thing after having your good soil, you can add chicken manure. Mostly I use the chicken manure because it's the best for me. As you can see here, this is the chicken manure. I'm mixing it with the soil. And the type of soil is loam soil. So mostly I use a ratio of a 1 to 2 or a ratio of 1 to 1. That is maybe one container of manure and one container of soil or sometimes I use one container of soil and two containers of manure. So here I use a ratio of one to one. This is to make sure that my soil is good enough to support my vegetables for a long time. Now, this is the process of preparing a sack. I always use ordinary sacks. For example, here, this is a cement sack. But before using cement sacks, you must prepare them well by washing them clean so that to remove any remaining cement in the sacks. This is because cement is not good to our bodies or to our health or to the health of the plants. So make sure you remove all the remaining cement from the sacks before using it. Secondly, here now, you must fold your sack into two layers so that to make it last for a long time before it wears out. Then you need to put the small stones in your sack at the bottom. This is to encourage drainage of water in the soil and in the sack. Then after that, you need to add your good soil that you have prepared, the ones that you have mixed well with the chicken manure or any other manure like a goat manure, sheep manure or cow manure. I mostly see people cutting the sacks into halves. But as from today, after watching this video, you have learned something that can help you prepare your sacks well. So if you cut your sack, you'll make it a single layer which will not last for long. This means if you want your sack to serve you for a long time, you need to fold it into double layers. Make sure you fill your sack with the soil up to almost full. Remove all the unwanted materials like small stones, sticks, which may injure you or may injure vegetables that you are going to plant in your sacks. On top of the sack, fold it in a small layer around the sack to make it stronger. Make sure your sack is stable before planting. Remember in my previous videos, I had taught you how to prepare a nursery bed in a container. Now here, this is the Fodok giant spinach that I prepared in this small container. The seedlings are ready for transplanting. This is how I transplant my seedlings from a small container into a sack that I've prepared. First, make sure you water well your seedlings before transplanting them. This is to make the soil soft so that you can be able to uproot them without cutting their roots. It also gives you easy work to transplant the seedlings. Make sure as you transplant the seedlings, there is a soil around the roots of the seedlings. This is to avoid transplanting shock afterwards. 
Transplanting shock refers to a number of stresses occurring in recently planted seedlings. It involves failure of the seedling to root well. This leads to an healthy vegetable or others die. To avoid this, you need to water your seedlings before transplanting them. Be careful not to damage their roots when uprooting the seedlings. To avoid this, just uproot the seedlings with the soil around the roots. Finally, after you are done with the transplanting of your seedlings, you need to water them well. This is to make sure that there is no any damage will continue after that. After you are done, make sure you place the sacks that you have transplanted the seedlings in a safe place whereby they can receive enough sunlight and rain. After one month, two weeks of transplanting my Fodok giant spinach, now look here how they have done very well with the big leaves, fresh and healthy, and this is the harvesting time. My good people, as you can see, this is just from uh, these sacks that I've harvested right now. And uh, this is for my supper. It is a really thing whereby I start from scratch up to this uh, point. You can harvest good vegetable from just a sack like this. This is a, a cement sack whereby I've used it to plant such amazing vegetables. This side, as you can see here, these are the kelps and uh, I'm taking some so that I'll mix with the spinach and enjoy my meals. This is another variety of kelps that I transplanted the same time with the spinach, known as half tall curled kelps, half tall curled kelps, also known as skuma matumbo, kwaluga yamta. What you should know about this type of vegetable, these kelps, they don't have much acids like the other variety. They also have several healthy benefits. Kels, very fresh and healthy from just simple and ordinary sacks. This is how I harvest my vegetables and uh, I enjoy them in my kitchen. So my good people, the reason of doing this is to encourage you out there that to start such a project within your compound and uh, you are going to benefit a lot. As you can see, I don't buy any vegetable. So, for example, this one, they are fresh vegetables, organic vegetables. I don't use any chemicals. I don't spray any insecticides, any pesticides, all that. I don't use uh, commercial uh, fertilizers. That is inorganic fertilizers i just use organic manure so as you can see they are very healthy fresh one direct from the sack or the container to my kitchen so good people i advise you 
to start such a project and you will never regret. If you have any problem, just contact me. Some of you have my numbers, so I'll guide you and direct you what you are supposed to do. So, also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Orina Dominic, so that you can learn more. Because I've posted more, more than 50 videos whereby you are supposed to go through them and you gain skills and knowledge over this kind of project. Uh, also, you can uh, join my group, Facebook group, known as Sacks and Containers Gardening Tips, so that you can gain some skills and knowledge from there, because I do teach people from all over the world, and I think for those who started following me, Hali, they have benefited a lot. So, my good people, I thank you very much for the support that you have given me all through. And I know that you are taking me far from where I am now. Thank you and be blessed.